Welcome back to another video. What's going on, everybody? As you guys can see in the thumbnail, we are installing some. I already forgot what, I forgot what they call window guards, ring guards, window guards, something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They're in this box right here, so we're gonna unbox them. They're gonna sit on the top of the door, like on top of the window, so you can crack your window and have air come in and don't have to worry about stuff getting in. I have it on my Civic already. These were from eBay. They're like super cheap, easy to install. But the 22s just came out. I couldn't find any on eBay, so I bought some from Honda itself for my job. And we're installing them today. So you can see this is from Honda. That's the part number, just in case you guys are wondering. Let's open these bad boys up. I'm just hoping that the install on these is as easy as it is on my car, because literally on my car, I just kind of get some 3D tape, 3D, 3M tape, put on the end, chuck it in there, and that was pretty much it. Honda assets, I don't know. Most of you guys that ordered this for your car probably will have the dealership install them. But you know, on the channel, I actually do a lot of installing and unboxing and stuff like that. So, so you guys do it myself. I don't know if this thing comes with instructions. I don't see any instructions in here. I do see some alcohol cleaning pads because you're gonna have to wipe the surface that you're placing these on. You gotta be clean. You don't want no dirt and debris and stuff in there. But I'll figure it out. Like, look like it comes with some tools as well. Interesting. So yeah, so these are the visors. In the little bag of tools, you get six B brackets, two A brackets, and these clips. And from the instructions, both A brackets will be closer to the mirror, and two B brackets will be on here, and then the rest of the B brackets will be all up there. I did some measurements and put a blue tape right there, and I put a blue tape up here. And right here, right here, have to be 71 millimeters. And then the distance from here to here gotta be 205 millimeters. For the inches, it's like eight something and two something. The instructions is not that clear, or maybe I'm just something wrong with me, I don't know. But anyways, you, this little rubber piece right here, you literally just grab it and pull it, and it comes right out just like that. So you pull it back, and then you put the clip on top of it. And I guess you make sure the, this part is exposed and then push it in there and then put it back and then do the same thing for the top well the b clip push it in there put it back and then there's one more clip that's going to go somewhere over here so let me go get another clip instructions make this a lot harder than what it really is remember i told you like there's two clips here there's no clips here on the instruction that's just a picture of the adhesive you peel off so the next thing i'm gonna do is you know take my blue tapers off don't need these on right now i'm gonna use the little adhesive that they give you and clean up the surface and then well, before I even clean up the surface, let's line this thing up to see how it fit. When you are buying these, there's two different ones you can buy. You can buy one that has the chrome on top or the one that's blacked out on top. Because on the Tourings, you get the chrome around the window sill. And I think on the Sports, they're black and the EX and the LX, I don't remember what color those are. But yeah, if you have a Touring, make sure you get the chrome because your Touring definitely has the chrome. You definitely have to do this with two hands. But yeah, you just line it up to make sure it all works out. So let me see real fast. The back one is pretty much lined up perfectly right there. My front on the other hand, my measurement was a little bit off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the front a little bit so I can match with that hole. The little tools that they give you, once you line them up, you push the, the what, 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 I don't know what to call those. You push the clip, push it in the hole. But that's all it is, it's two brackets and then you peel off the adhesive and then you push one of the clips in the hole and another clip in the hole and that's pretty much it. So let me make sure this thing lined up. I slid the front one up, so now it matches with the hole, and this one's already fine. What part really had me stuck is if you have it poke up that much, or do you tuck it in and just have the B part poking out? But from the pack, the pictures, it shows that it's supposed to be both sides like that poking out. Also, I didn't know if this bracket pokes off from the bottom of the rubber or from the top, from the rubber, but from the top, so. Some instruction says, so that's what we're gonna do. I don't think I gotta show you guys how to do this. You just rip the thing open, clean off the thing, and Put your thingamajiggy on. Look at the fingerprints I got on there already. That's why you definitely gotta clean this thing off. Look how much a difference the little pad does. But yeah, you're just gonna clean up this whole thing. There could be a chance that if you rip this whole thing off and stick it under, you may mess up. You're gonna redo it. So what I would do is peel off like just a little bit of it and try to stick it on and then peel off a little bit of the end and try, I'll show you what I'm talking about and try to stick it on. Quality wise though, this does feel a lot better than my uh, two door over there. And look, they even give you the little cushions that come with it too. That sits on the car, so that's actually pretty cool. 
Hopefully this 3M is on here is a lot uh, stickier than what I got on that eBay one. Because on the eBay one, I have to put my own 3M on it because it was not sticky enough. I got it on here. It's not fully on. So the adhesive, this little plastic is still in the back of these part right here. Once you position how you want it, you can rip off this side and then slowly peel off that side and then you press down on it. And same thing, you pull this side and you press down on it. That way you make sure it's good, Gucci. Come on, focus. There we go. Got the first clip in there. And then the clip part is easy. So if your hole is lined up, all you do is you see from underneath, you just push the little hole in there. And then it's hard to do this with one hand, but you pretty much press against there and then clips in just like that. At the dealership, they will have like a little roller that they will use to roll across to push this thing in. So you saw me in the video, I was like holding it in like that. I highly recommend get like a roller or something like that and make sure the glue is stick on it evenly. I don't got none of that, so do my getaways and do this. But this thing is easy. This thing is a piece of cake. Now that we got the front on there, let's go knock out the back. So you see how the chrome matches the chrome that's already on there. And then fitment wise too, it's actually pretty good. But to be honest, it saved me some time too. You know how I put the little tape on there because I did the measurement of the holes? You're better off put the visor on first and mark where the hole is on the visor. And that way you know where to put the clip because the way I did, I was off a little bit on the, this one. I have to move this one down. So I would put the visor on, mark where the hole is on the visor, then put the clips in. But let's knock out this back one now. Grab on the rears. And you should know which, is, which goes on which side because it's obvious. All right, you got the rear out and I'm gonna do the other way. That was definitely a passenger. So <laughs> I'm over here talking about it's obvious that I still grabbed the wrong um, thing. That's mad funny. The rears uh, are shorter. So yeah, I tried to put that one on just now and then it went all the way on. So it matches with that, but then it went all the way across here. I was like, wait, hold on, that ain't right. I might, I'm not even gonna cut that one out either. I'm uh, and this is the wrong one too. Dang, I'm just, I'm over here talking all this smack and, well, I guess the color, one is right and one is left. So white is right and then blue is left. I knew that. So this one got two clips as well. So it'll go in just like that. So there's two holes, a hole right there, right there for your clips. So I'm gonna mark that and then insert the tabs and it'll be Gucci. The fitment on this one is, actually, let me open the door. The more I'm doing this, the more I realize this is like mad stuff you don't need to do. So you you probably don't even need to do measurements on this. If you pull off this whole window of plastic, pull it down and put the thing in there, you can honestly put these tabs wherever you want, grab the visor itself and actually see where the hold is and then just go underneath. And then just go underneath and make sure the hole matches up. Like all that measurement stuff I was doing earlier today, I don't think that's all I've needed. I'm gonna keep it 100 though. The fitment on this rear one, for some reason, is doo-doo, boy. Like, what, ooh, look at that. Actually, let me make it look more close. I'm gonna do like right there, right? And then look at this. So, I don't know what the Honda was thinking, but that measurement is a doo-doo. But you know what? It is what it is. I was on the money when it comes to the holes. Look at that whole line up. I love the quality Honda, but I don't know about that fitment. That fitment is not a one. I mean, I have it matched with this one, but because it's shorter, I don't know who did the measurement on this one, but they they, they slacking. The measurement is poopy. This one in there easy. So I'm gonna knock out the passenger side, one, two, three, and I'm gonna show you guys the final product. It came out good. Let's jump in the car to see what it looks like. of this is to be able to crack your window and still you know it's raining or there's some type of mostly when it's raining yeah you mostly use when it's raining but yeah so air can come in you don't have to have your ac on it's like muggy or something like that so it came out super clean you guys can see it from the inside looks pretty good 
First of all, it looked like a professional installed this because, you know, a professional did install this. What are you talking about? Besides the rears, um, it came out good. If you want to get it done professionally, I'll still bring it to the dealership or if you know someone that can because I've never installed this type of uh, visors before. On my Civic, the visors go into the window. If I took this whole thing out, um, there's probably about this much of plastic that's in the window and it goes underneath this thing. And behind, underneath, the damn thing is cooked. But underneath this whole thing, there's a 3M that sticks. It's in there. I think, yeah, it's in here too. So it's on under here and on top of here. You stick it in there, you wind the window, you're good. You don't have to worry about clips. Right. I feel like if you just want to save some money, knock it out yourself, or just get the experience of, because I've never done these type before. Like I said, I've done this. I've never done this with clips and measurements and all that stuff. I've never been good with measurements, so. But when I first started this, I did a tape method and did measurements and I did exactly what the instruction says, the distance and blah, blah, blah. And by the time I got to that door, I was like, whatever. So y'all saw in the time lapse, all I did is slap this on, I eyeballed it, see where it would've been, put the uh, tabs in, and then if the tabs were off, you slide to adjust it to the hole, and then boom, done. It's pretty much all I did. So hopefully I installed this whole thing right. If I didn't, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys will let me know in the comments, but it came out super clean. Let me wipe this thing off, I'm gonna do a little quick little, little B-roll on it. Taking a quick glimpse of the car right now, it's crazy how one little piece like this one little thing you can add to your car and can, can change the look on your car just that much, you know? The car's already black on black, so the black visors add a nice little stealth to it, you know, a little aggressiveness to it. We do need to add tints, so that's coming up right now the fishbowl. So I think with some tints plus this, and speaking of tints, this actually act as like a little baby tint too, so... When the sun is coming through, it kind of help, you know, shield it a little bit. So it helps protect you just a, just a tad. I mean, you still gonna have sun coming in, but at least you don't have sun coming in from up top, you know, all being your face. But yeah, with tents, this thing's gonna be A1, but this thing came out beautiful. And then the little cleaning cloths that came to clean the adhesive, I just went over it because this thing is a fingerprint magnet. So just give you guys a heads up. I'm gonna end everything here. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully it's installed. Maybe you guys even want to get it, or if you're trying to install it yourself, you have an, an idea, hopefully I ain't go wrong. And any feedback, just leave in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video.